All right. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living with Dementia. We're proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of our programs are recorded and some are made available for viewing through our YouTube channel for future use. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. To, whoops, today we are not doing Texas Winds, we're doing Flashback. Did you see that? We're doing Flashback. And Flashback is pictures from the past. And just for your information, for Monday coming up, we're doing Nia Moving to Heal, our chair yoga on Monday. I'm going to stop sharing on that and say goodbye to all the purple <clears throat> and then try again. Share screen. Uh, there you go. There we go. Ah, who remembers the Christmas song? Uh, yes. That's the Jingle Bells, the Hershey Kisses. Yes. What do y'all remember about it? Stay Man, are you waving at us? We can't hear you. They moved. They moved. They moved. Yeah. Yeah, to the music. And they were, do you, anybody remember the song? Jingle Bells, I think. Oh, I wish, well, wish yeah. you a Merry Christmas. Wish you Merry Christmas. That's right. Yeah, that's it. And the last note, what happened? They jingle the bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They the da 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 and a happy new year. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he goes, Phew! Yeah. He takes the little thing across his, his brow. That was just so cute. I had to put that in there. I don't know how they got those things to do that, but it's just stinking cute. Laser. Lasers. I'm sorry? Laser. Laser. Tell me you know about that. I'm, I want to get educated. Penny? They, they use a lot of lasers to move things now in those cartoons and stuff. Yeah. I mean, this is quite an old commercial, too. It is, yeah. yeah. It's funny when it's dark, isn't it? And funny? Yes. That was back before they had all these different flavors of kisses. Back when Hershey's, Hershey's Kisses meant what they were, chocolate kisses. Yes. Oh, they were. Yeah. And now they call them hugs and other stuff. Oh, yeah. It's just not the same, is it? No? Let's see what we have next. Who's ever been on a hayride? Tell me about it. <laughs> yes. I see Nancy's got a smile on her face. Nancy, tell me about your hayrides. <laughs> Just it, it, it was going to a haunted house. It was exciting at nighttime. Uh huh. Now, Nancy, you lived in in the country, didn't you, in California? Yes. Yeah. So, was there a farm that you lived on that had its own wagons with hay rides? No. No. It was like a a neighbor had one, and he would loan it out. Oh, sweet! How old were you? Uh, no, I was younger. Oh, about these kids' age, maybe. I, I lived in California from the age of five. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's amazing to me. And you started out in Arkansas. Right. That's that you were so lucky to get to move out there. Yes. 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 So your neighbor would pull the wagon and have hay rides. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, you didn't remember one later in your teen years? No? Um, well, yeah, I I had one in my teen years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, I, I heard Nan talking about nighttime. Tell us your story, Nan. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to remember I'm not Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll anyway. work on it. You know, uh, ours was going uh, Halloween to uh, a haunted house, mm -hmm. and 
they had a, a hayride that you got on and it took you over to the park. Oh, wow. It was fun. So the whole community probably got together to do that, didn't they? No, it was a, a company and actually they're still doing haunted houses. <laughs> uh, they're out in Barney. If you go down 20, you'll see a big sign about haunted house. Haunted huh. Manor, I think is what it is. Uh -huh. It was them way back then. Borny Haunted Manor. I'm going to look that up later. See if maybe they've got a presence on Facebook or on uh, Google. Oh, they do. Oh, good. They they do. Yeah. I'm going to make sure it's... It, and about what age were you, Nan? Grown. Grown? In my twenties. Twenties, okay. Young enough to get in and out of the hay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I saw something this morning on Facebook about two women that got uh, that fell down in a mud road and were trying to get up. <laughs> Sometimes we're just too old to get up out of stuff. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, tell me about it. Oh, my goodness. Well, Don and Myra are grinning. Tell me about your experience with the hayride. Um, well, I grew up in central Kansas, so we there were tractors and hay all, you know, all summer that you could ride or when you were out helping after the harvest bring in the hey, you could ride along and help. <laughs> help. <laughs> which means bring in the hay. Yeah. Which is hard work. Yes. Oh, my gosh. At Woodstock. <laughs> Sorry. He's in love with my mouse. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> um, it, but also, uh, Labor Day is a big deal in Kansas, and that's when, or in our hometown, and mm -hmm. the that's when the class reunions are, and the class reunion will have a tractor pulling with just like that in the with class old, with old people and hay, old people and hay. That's right. Oh my goodness! And usually water balloons being tossed, and and many <laughs> of them are drinking mimosas or or bloody marys. <laughs> Ooh. That sounds like a good go to Hoisington. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don and Myra knew how to have fun, huh? This is this is corn. This looks like corn or maize. maize. I'm used to hay. Mm-hmm. Hay and, and wheat. And wheat, yeah. So these are corn stalks? They're they look like they're corn stalks. Yeah, they look like they corn look like they're probably corn stalks rather than because the, the tassels on the top are yellow. So that probably means a corn instead of maize, which has a red. Yeah, could be tassel. either or. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, and now that I look at the field, the field does look like corn. It's not oh. wheat. It's not wheat, no. Silly <laughs> name. Oh, okay. A corn ride. <laughs> corn ride, that's right. Goodness gracious. Where did... Penny went away. Oh, she's talking to her housekeeper or somebody. Oh, okay. I'm having to uh, toggle back and forth to see everybody. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, I've got a story about a hayride. If you oh, please, please, yeah. So, I, the, this one is most memorable to me because I went on several when I was living in Illinois and then I was in Boy Scouts and stuff. <laughs> but we had a church group that was going to a hayride uh, and. Uh, so it was a uh, it was about 30 40 miles away so they pull they 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 put all eight of us kids in the back of a pickup truck and drove us down there and uh then we had the hay ride and then we uh we uh um, we we drove back in the back of a pickup truck which i thought was the, the probably the last great pickup truck ride i had oh yeah before seat belts yeah, before they didn't allow people in the back in the back of a truck. Yes. The children, at least. <laughs> oh, those were the days, weren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and you had fun. You did have fun. That's a good. Because there's plenty of holding hands on, on the on the truck and the train ride. I bet you were. That was when we were trying to figure out who we were. That's right. Yeah. And a hay ride or a corn ride is the perfect excuse. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Don. No problem. Yeah, not a problem. No, not at all. Tell me about your experiences with a piano. Does anybody play? Oh, I've, I've, I took lessons for a long time, but uh, I didn't follow up on it. Myra had a piano in her basement <clears throat> in Lynn Hoisington. Was it an I'm great at chopsticks. It just was not my forte. Oh. <laughs> and, and you had to sit inside and, and work at it. That was not something I wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it oh, an... Oh, uh, go ahead, Don. My story is that when we ended up, uh, after Myra's mom passed away, we ended up selling her house, and the stipulation was that the piano stayed there. <laughs> it was not our responsibility to move it. And they forgot, the people who bought it forgot about that. And she's, I just thought I was just joking. I said, no, I'm not joking. That's, I'm not moving that I'm sucker not, upstairs. I'm not, I'm not moving that sucker. <laughs> well, I wonder if they used it for firewood and sold the ivory. They, the, the, whatever ivory could have been on that was, was really bad and peeled well, off. You know, I don't know. It's probably right where it was. It's probably right where it was. Yeah. 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 The, I, I can imagine that there are a lot of houses sold. With pianos in them. Yeah. Yeah. Because this was, this was an iron trunk. It was huge. Yeah. Was it a tall upright? Yes. Tall upright, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are hard, hard, hard to move. Yep. Yes. Nancy, did you ever play the piano? I only practiced it a few times, like maybe for three months and then give up and then try it again. But I did have a piano just like this one. I mean... Yeah, oh. I was just like it. And my daughters took lessons, but ne neither one of them, uh, it never stuck with them either. You know, I always thought that uh, it was kind of ridiculous that my parents made me take piano lessons. We, did, we never did. Nobody in my family had a piano. So huh. I couldn't practice on it. I, you know, I just, I went to the, to, to, the, to the classes and did all my practice there, which was, Kind of irrit uh, irritating to my uh, instructor because <laughs> I was not. It took me a while to get the basics down. Right, because I couldn't practice. Right, you didn't have one at home. Nope. Mm hmm. Yes. Nan, did you ever take piano? I unfortunately is tone deaf. Huh. I tried out in elementary for the little bells. Anyway, mm. no. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, and my daughter, when she was born, she was born with the, the capability of hearing notes and everything. Oh. And every time I tried to sing to her and rock her, she would start fussing at me. Oh. <laughs> that That's... tells you anything. <laughs> that should be recognized day, as, a, as a disability. If I start yeah. singing in the car, she fusses at me. Oh my goodness! Well, she's not very tolerant, is she? Well, I mean, I'm that bad of a singer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nancy, you were saying that you have a had a piano just like this one. Yeah, not the brand name. The brand name was different. Uh, did it have the, the same? Uh, stand in the back. Yeah. The crisscross stand. This was popular in the late 50s. Was yeah. that when you had yours? I bought a brand new one uh -huh. in, in the early 70s. Really? Wow. Well, I'm so sorry I didn't put up a picture of the one that I owned, but this is exactly the same brand and style that my father bought for my mother in 1959. Mm -hmm. And they said the first kid that learns how to play it gets to ha have it. That's oh, yeah. not really a very good incentive. <laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> they didn't let me actually have it until 1996. So <laughs> I didn't have it for very long. Yeah. 
And then I kept downsizing and I had no more room and I had to give it away. So I gave it to a church. Yeah. So some people are enjoying it every Sunday. Good. Craziness, isn't it? But I think. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> you, you go to sleep, phone. <laughs> um, the, it, it is said that people who have experience playing an instrument have broader um, general knowledge because they've learned on different levels. Do y'all find that to be so? Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, I played for like four years practicing. Wow. And I played played a, a couple of uh, what do you call it, recitals. Uh -huh. um, but uh, as far as making my I uh, give me a broader um, view on things. Uh, mm -hmm. I think if I, was, if I was stuck with the piano or the violin, which I also played for a long oh, time when I was a kid, wow. I, if I was stuck with one of those, it probably would have affected my uh, my 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 outlook. Number mm -hmm. one, I was uh, I was a very much a, a nerd. So if I had uh, stuck with it, maybe I wouldn't have been so much a nerd. I'd been make friends with somebody else that was played the violin you know that's a good point because usually you you need to play in groups to have yeah. greater fun other than the piano mm -hmm. yeah well I think engineers are all pretty smart anyway and <laughs> I'm of the opinion that if you pick up any instrument that it helps you with your brain function as an engineer music is a mathematical is a nice mathematical function yes that, uh, you, you can uh, you can calculate the frequencies and See how they uh, harmonize and and uh, and uh, the, the the opposite of harmonization. Yeah, um, what do you call uh, that? Discord. Discord. Thank you. Was it you that posted the picture of the bunny and the cloud and the the tree? Oh yeah, that was me. That, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> that, oh, Don, um, do you still have that? Is it? Is it on the device that you're using right now? Um, I, it's on Facebook. I don't know how I go about finding it. Uh, well, let me let me check and see if I if I on Facebook here. Okay. He sh while he's looking, he he showed a picture of a cute little bunny, and some clouds <laughs> and a tree, and he said, "This is how a regular human see this." And then the next picture is, this is how engineers see this, or how engineers explain this. And it's covered with calculations. I hope you find it. It's just so funny. And we will be patient and wait. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, uh, carry, carry on. I'll, if next I find picture, it, I'll... okay, all right, okay. Oh, somebody talk about this picture. Huh. Nan, is this picture something that was in your life? I hated them. Did you hate the socks or the shoes or the blue jeans? The shoes. Oh, I hated the shoes too, Nan. Tell me about yours. Uh, I wanted cutesy shoes, mm -hmm. and I was such a tomboy that Mother wouldn't buy me cutesy shoes because I'd wear them out too fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I never liked them. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> My mother made me have a pair of saddle oxfords and I hated them with a passion. And at the time I was riding a bicycle. I think I was sixth grade. And on purpose, I would use my shoes as the brakes on the concrete to stop my <laughs> bicycle. So I would wear them out. <laughs> Good. That's how much I hated my saddle oxfords. Did anybody else have saddle oxfords? Yes, I did. Did you hate yours, Nancy, or did you have a different opinion? I liked my saddle oxfords because I I got the pair and I felt so lucky to have what other people had. Oh, okay. It made, it made me belong by having them. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. How, what age were you at that time? I probably was 10, 11. Okay. 
that's like fourth or fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I got mine after after that wave was over and Nan was talking about the cutesy shoes and everybody that I knew was out of Saddle Oxfords and into cutesies and I didn't get cutesies either. So Nancy, you had you had them at the perfect time, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you roll down your socks like this uh, model? Actually, we rolled them in a real tight roll, way down. Uh, like uh, like a, a necklace around your ankle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don, did you find it? Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. That's okay. We do that all the time. I don't know how to display it, so I don't know. Well, I'm going to stop sharing so you can. Okay. 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 So now what do I do? Share, go to share share screen? Uh, yeah. The, the green thing at the bottom. And I think that should work. I hope it does. <gasps> Look at that. Yay. Oh, there it is. Oh, here's the, here's the picture. Nice, nice calm picture and this is all the equations that uh that engineers or physicists use to calculate um, <laughs> how things really work the sun has all the the, the nuclear uh, nuclear equations that uh, uh, quite, uh to make the sun work and then is this is like showing how air gets convert uh, <laughs> uh, how air is created with oxygen and nitrogen or hydrogen and uh yeah, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Uh -huh. And is here that is the Krebs uh, cycle. What's that? Is that the Krebs cycle? I, I, I maybe I don't know. Okay. Then, then here's a, a, a illustration of six waters, carbon, carbon dioxide. Well, actually, it's, it's talking about it's talking about what the carrot is. Oh. And then after what it is after it's digested. Oh, okay. From carrot to um, not uh, carrot. rabbit pellets. Rabbit pellets, yeah. And okay. here's the, the the river, how the, the flow of the river is called. So anyway, it's all mathematical stuff. That, uh, that, uh, and welcome to my world. <laughs> right. Yes, Myra. I, I, I thought that when I first saw it. Yes. I did, I did. It's probably more interesting to, for me to think about than for anybody else to look at. But, uh, um, I I identified with the oxygen, CO2 oxygen thing. Yeah. I had to do a picture representation of how that worked in uh, colored pencil and turn it in in the sixth grade. Now, why I remember that, I'll never know. But hmm. that was part of our projects is learning how we get air to breathe. Well, it's important to know that. It you know, is. You got to know what trees do. It is, yes. And tell me the the thing at the top that looks uh, on the right that looks like lightning to me. Is that talking about the birds? Well, actually, what this is talking about is uh uh uh, uh, uh okay, how can I say uh, atomic particle that hits the atmosphere and how mm -hmm. it breaks up into different components um, as it goes through the atmosphere. Uh, but it doesn't really tell you it, it much much about what these things are that's not lightning no it's not lightning okay is it's it a, co color or it's it's uh it's it's, it's uh, atomic reactions okay so it's not why is the sky blue <laughs> no, no and this one is the 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 the, the uh the um the drag formula for, the for uh for calculating the drag constant for the birds oh my goodness this is so much fun. <laughs> no, it's not. I think, I it's, think it's fun. I'm not sure everybody else thinks it's fun besides you, Martha. <laughs> well, it certainly made my day. And the carrot is orange. And I think that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is Don for the day. That's, that's right. Dan. Yeah, that's me. And, and as Myra says, welcome to her life. <laughs> yes. Okay, how do I stop sharing? Oh, um, uh, you should, there should be a red thing or a green thing at the top. Stop sharing. I got it. There okay. you go. There Stop you sharing. go. All right. So then I can go back to sharing and we go back to the Bobby socks. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for pa your patience because it was really 
Very, very boring for everybody, I think. <laughs> but you made my day, and I'm going to be selfish and say I thought it was fun. Don and Myra, did you have bobby socks or um, penny uh, uh, shoot saddle oxfords? No, I, I did not have saddle oxfords. Y'all lucked out, didn't you? I didn't want any. Yeah. You didn't have to use yours for brakes on your bicycle. I think my mother probably knew that's what would happen if I she forced me to get them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They would. They would be. They would not last very long. No, they would not have lasted. What kind of shoes no. did you wear? Well, I wore tennis shoes, tennis or, shoes, or if you know church, it was patent leather white or patent leather black. That's right. Oh yeah. Welcome back, Penny. Yes. Uh, Get my heater back on. Oh. You have to talk to us. Don't don't look back. Okay, now I'm back. Say say okay. it again, please. Nope, you're no you uh uh you're <laughs> now say it oh. again. I'm back. Okay. okay. Did you ever have sad locks for shoes, Penny? Yeah, yes, when we were younger, I remember. Tell me what you thought about them. They were okay. Okay. They were sturdy. They were sturdy, darn it. <laughs> Once or twice a year, so they were sturdy for us. Oh, uh, you know, that's probably why my mother wanted me to have them. And I did my best to destroy them. Yep. Oh, my. Thank you, Penny. We're glad, we're glad you're back. Now, bobby socks. Did y'all yes. have bobby socks? Did you roll them down? Uh, I had white socks that I rolled down, but they were no way to be construed as bobby socks. They were sweat shot, sweat socks. Yeah, bobby socks. Tube socks. Tube socks, socks, socks yeah. Girls. Uh, say that name, please. Bobby socks were more for girls. I, I girls. believe that. Yes. And go yeah. to the sock hop. Yeah. Oh yes, because we couldn't put our shoes on the gym floor. Yep. That was why we had sock hops. Mm hmm. So, Don, when you had your athletic socks, did they have colored stripes around the top? No. Oh. Yes. Oh, did they? Yes. Oh, On I don't recall. Blue. He blue, had blue, blue stripes. Blue stripes Always had blue stripes. Tim had red stripes. Yeah. No, my, my brother's Tim. Oh, OK. In in the movie. Peggy Sue got married. Mm hmm. Did anybody yes. see that movie? Yes, I did. Yes. When she wakes up from giving blood and her boyfriend is there and he's wearing a white outfit, if you look really closely, you can see that he's wearing athletic socks under his white pants and the colored bands are showing through the pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've not paid that. I've seen that for a while, so so if you ever watch it, you know, pay attention. If you see it again, pay attention. I thought that was really funny. I'm going to pay attention this time. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that was a, a mistake on somebody's part, because if they really wanted him to be in white, they they screwed up. But it, that was interesting. What was that guy's name? I forgot his name. Yeah, Nick Cage. Nicholas Cage. Cage. Oh, yeah. Who was the lady? Uh, Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner, that's right. Wow, I'm reaching back for that one. That's really going back. That's yes, really going back, yeah. Yes, it is. One more picture and then we've got to go. Oh, Don. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is Don's oh, day. <laughs> I've got I got some just like those at the bingo game the other day. Did you? Uh-huh. Were those prizes at the bingo game? Nobody donated them. Why? <laughs> Because you know they have to have gifts for us. If you talk with your back to us, we can't hear you, Penny. Okay, I'm coming. I went to get them to show them to you. Oh, okay. See, those are dominoes. Uh -huh. Are those dominoes? No, this is a slide rule. Oh, I thought it was dominoes. There's well, no slide rule. Look at that. Don's got a slide rule. Well, I've had many slide rules. I bet you this, this oh, okay. I see it now. I had to get it closer to me. Yeah. Uh, I had to. Uh, I we used these when we were when I first started college. Mm -hmm. And finally, my I, my parents shelled out a couple hundred dollars for me to have just a basic calculator. Yeah. And 
eventually calculators were cheap enough that I could buy uh, a more expensive one. Oh, yeah. And those first calculators didn't do much. No, they didn't. Mm -mm. I remember uh, in 1959 and 60, my brother was graduating high school and he had a slide rule and used it in high school. Yeah. And by the time I graduated six years later, nobody ever used slide rules anymore. That's right. It changed. Uh, here's another fast. one that I have. Oh, it, Don, you have more than one. Oh, oh. <laughs> these are just the ones that are in my drawer right here. Really yeah. me. You could probably paper a wall with your slide rules. I no, not quite, but I can make an interesting uh, exhibit. A collage, right? Oh, that's funny. It, I, I thought it was dominoes at first, but I can see it now. It was too far away from me. Penny, that's really funny. I can see where you would think they were dominoes. Yeah, I could too. And yeah, now the, the I dots, understand. Excuse yeah. me, Don. Go ahead. Yeah, they got dots on them that look like dominoes. They do. And now, Penny, I understand why you said they were given as a prize downstairs. <laughs> and the, you know, let me tell you what I also got. I wanted, I was going to buy a commode brush, you know, a little hat. And somebody mm -hmm. donated a new one to that, too. <laughs> I won that. And I won the dominoes because so that's all I had. And this this this, this lady dominated a, a coat rack, you know. Uh-huh. The long, long tall one. Oh wow. And this guy won it. And I said, Oh, I've always wanted one of those. You know what? He hmm. gave it to me. Is that the one that's over the at the other side of the room? Uh-huh. He gave it to me. That's really nice. It's real nice too. You don't see those very often. And I've always wanted when I saw them in the magazine, Dr. Wright. And they were $159. I said, no, I can't afford that. That's Bentwood, isn't it? Yes, that's an old-fashioned one, too. Yeah, that's really pretty. Good for you, Penny. They give good prices where you are. Yeah, they donate a lot of stuff, you know, because they buy us just about $20 worth of, you know, toilet paper and dish soap and, you know, things from the dollar store. Right, things that everybody needs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Today, they are going to provide us a meal. They're going to give us a... Subway sandwiches. Excellent. Wow, that's nice. And make us green punch. And uh, this lady said she was going to make a green cake. Oh, my goodness. I, get, I bought her the pistachio pudding to make it with. Ooh. <laughs> I had a green cupcake yesterday, and this was on top of the cupcake. Oh. <laughs> and it's a ring. Mm -hmm. Ring, all right. Yeah, I was trying to get it to stick in my hair, but I don't have enough hair. <laughs> But I have my green on today. Don, right. can you give us one small example of what a slide rule is used for that we would understand? Okay. The simple is, is the simplest application is to do, do addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And really? Really? And then there's they'll use those functions to do more complex uh, calculations. Uh, but uh, uh, so say. Yeah, Go ahead. Go ahead. So if you wanted to figure out uh, something like uh, monthly payments on a house and interest rate, you could use this? It'd be, it'd be very difficult to use it to do that, but uh -huh. you could do it. Well, I've never picked one up, and I th I'm afraid of them because I don't know how to use them. So, so basically, basically um, you'd have to know the, the formula that you used to calculate the, the monthly interest pay, month, monthly interest rates, and then do each one of those individual, individual uh, mathematical functions mm -hmm. in the right order with the right values. Wow. I, I take my hat off to you. I, I think people that learn this kind of thing are magic. <laughs> I, I forgot this as almost quick as I could. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I, I use my calculator this. on my phone. Okay. I have enjoyed this so much. Well, it's thank you. Thanks for making it uh, engineering uh, eccentric for me. So it just um. happened that way. And I'm going to look up uh, Forney Haunted Manor and the TI 2600 and see if I can find pictures of both of those. <laughs> there you go. Hold, up. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm, man. I had the wrong one. What'd you have? Let me go back. Ooh. I looked it up. Nan has something for us. And I'm so, oh, no, I lost it. Um, do, 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 do. It's actually by Terrell. It's when 
you go through Terrell on 20. Uh huh. Um, before you get to that big filling station for truck driving and all that, you'll see the sign. And I think it's actually, uh, instead of, I was thinking it was Murner, uh, but it's not that one. Okay. It, it is. You know how it is when you get up. I do. I do. And Okay. This I'm going to spell it for you. Okay. I'm writing it down. Go ahead. T-H-R-I-L-L-V-A-N-I-A. Thrill Mania. Yes. Okay. Uh, Haunted House Park. Haunted okay. House. And okay. it's, uh, yeah, the road that's off 20 is uh, County Road 138. And I went in here and it has a lot of pictures. Well, thank you. So there is a lot of pictures. I will find one and put it on our list so that we'll run into it next time, sometime in the future when we go through flashback. Yeah, because it, it's been there since 1996. Oh, my goodness. That's worth looking at. Thank you, Nancy. Right. Ladies and gents, have a wonderful day and a happy weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.